Hi everyone, I'm here going over how to start and stop live loops. And so here we, in front of us, we have an example that I went over, um, a similar example to something we went over in class where there is a cue at the top which is syncing the rest of the rhythms that we hear um, when we run our code. And so this is like a pretty uncomplicated a typical sort of drum rhythm that we're used to hearing in pop song. So let's run and hear what this sounds like. Right? We know this. And so you might be wondering sometimes is like, how can you stop a live loop once it's going? And so how do you do that? There is a command called stop. Okay. And so let me show you how to use this command. Let's say you want to stop the snare for a little bit, right? So the sound that's happening within live loop two, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add this text called stop, right? And you're going to want to put it within this live loop, just somewhere in between. I like to just keep things up at the top. And so now if I run my code, I'm going to do command R on my Mac. We're going to hear that the snare drum has stopped, right? And so if I want to start it back up again, I just delete the stop and then I run my code again. Now we have our snare drum is back. And so you can imagine that one of the fun things about live coding is maybe playing with the relationship of starting and stopping live loops up again. Right? because then maybe you can like develop some ideas for a bit and then maybe start to add things back in once in a while to add some drama. There you go. And so like, that's how you can start and stop live loops.